And Elisha the prophet called one of the children of the prophets, and said unto him, Gird up thy loins, and take this box of oil in thine hand, and go to Ramathgilead, and when thou comest thither, look out there Jehu the son of Jehoshaphat the son of Nimshi, and go in, and make him arise up from among his brethren, and carry him to an inner chamber, then take the box of oil, and pour on his head, and say, Thus saith the Lord, I have anointed thee king over Israel. Then open the door, and flee, and tarry not. So the young man, the young man the prophet, went to Ramathgilead. And when he came, behold, the captains of the host sitting, and he said, I have an errand to thee, O captain. And Jehu said, Unto which of all us? And he said, To thee, O captain. And he arose, and went into the house, and he poured the oil on his head, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I have anointed thee king over the people of the Lord, over Israel. And thou shalt smite the house of Ahab thy master, that I may avenge the blood of my servants the prophets, and the blood of all the servants of the Lord, at the hand of Jezebel. For the whole house of Ahab shall perish, and I will cut off from Ahab him that pisseth against the wall, and him that is shut up and left in Israel, and I will make the house of Ahab like the house of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, and like the house of Basha the son of Ahijah, and the dogs shall eat Jezebel in the portion of Jezreel, and none to bury. And he opened the door, and fled. Then Jehu came forth to the servants of his lord, and said unto him, All well? Wherefore came this mad to thee? And he said unto them, Ye know the man, and his communication. And they said, False, tell us now. And he said, Thus and thus spake he to me, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I have anointed thee king over Israel. Then they hasted, and took every man his garment, and put under him on the top of the stairs, and blew with trumpets, saying, Jehu is king. So Jehu the son of Jehoshaphat the son of Nimshi conspired against Joram. Now Joram had kept Ramathgilead, he and all Israel, because of Hazal king of Syria. But King Joram was returned to be healed in Jezreel of the wounds which the Syrians had given him, when he fought with Hazal king of Syria, and Jehu said, If it be your minds, let none go forth escape out of the city to go to tell in Jezreel. So Jehu rode in a chariot, and went to Jezreel, for Joram lay there. And Ahaziah king of Judah was come down to see Joram. And there stood a watchman on the tower in Jezreel, and he spied the company of Jehu as he came, and said, I see a company. And Joram said, Take an horseman, and send to meet them, and let him say, Peace? So there went one on horseback to meet him, and said, Thus saith the king, Peace? And Jehu said, What hast thou to do with peace? Turn thee behind me. And the watchman told, saying, The messenger came to them. This content was provided by AngeloTricarico.com. Subscribe to the channel for more stories.